DJ Pro was one of the first DJ softwares to integrate with streaming services back in 2014 when they integrated with Spotify. And although we cannot use Spotify anymore, there are some great streaming services that are integrated. And in this short video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know. All right, to access your streaming services, what you're going to do is press one of these music select buttons at the top left or top right. Push it in. And then this drop down menu, whichever one you're in, let's say you're in my collections, this drop down menu is going to show you all of your streaming services. And a quick tip is once you find which streaming service you use, you could press this edit button and get rid of some of the services that you don't use just so it's less confusing and easier to find your songs. So the streaming services that are integrated are Apple Music, which is the most recent one. A lot of people are waiting for, for that. Tidal, that's the one I use, and I'll explain that after. SoundCloud, Beatport, and BeatSource. So what I recommend you doing is finding which streaming service is best for the style of music that you DJ with and the songs that you, you'd like to play. Or if you already are signed up to one of these streaming services before you started DJing, you could just use that. So now once you choose your streaming service, so I chose Tidal. And just keep in mind, if you decide to use Tidal, it is going to be more expensive. You have to pay extra to get the DJ extension. Tidal is the only streaming service that you could use Nero Mix with while you're using a streaming service. And that's why you have to pay extra. So now, uh, one important thing is searching for songs. So let's say you get a request or you're trying to make a playlist and you want to search through songs. There's a search bar over here. So now if you search this search bar... I typed in flowers, now I got songs, and I got videos, artists, and albums. In this search bar, it is going to search the internet and search songs that are in that are available in this streaming service. What threw me off and throws off a lot of people is if you are in my collections, let's say you're DJing from one of your playlists in my, my collections, if you go to search here, flowers... It's only going to search songs that you put into my collection. So it may really throw you off and you're trying to search for a song and you can't find it. That is why. You have to go back to your streaming service if you want to search songs on the internet in that streaming service. So once you find your song, you could load it up onto a deck. So now I have this song from the streaming service loaded up onto the left deck. And it's really cool. It shows the album art if there's album art available for that song. So now on the right, I have a song that's stored on my device that's not from a streaming service. And on the left, I have Flowers, which is a streaming service. So now if you hold in the music select button, you get these additional features, uh, double scratch Shazam and the cue. But now look what happens when I do the same thing for a song from a streaming service. Now you could like it. So any song that you play, let's say you had a request, you never played this song before, you played it and you liked it. Now you could save it to your library, which is which is really cool. And that's only for streaming service songs. Another thing you could do, press the music select button here. And now there's a feature down at the bottom, which is match. So the crossfader is to the left on that song from the streaming service. And now it's giving me 20 matching songs in the title streaming service. It suggests these songs based on a few things like genre, bpm artists and stuff like that so the most important thing as a dj is knowing what song to play next and this is a great tool to help you so now flowers another song that would sound good with it according to this is late night talking by harry styles carver by taylor swift never never gonna not dance again by pink runaway one republic so just pop songs that might that may sound great mixed into this really great feature and and I, I feel like it's an underrated feature. Another thing that you can do with streaming services is you could search for some besides tracks and songs. So yeah, there's millions and millions of songs, but let's say you're doing like a surprise party or they're opening gifts. You could type in something like crowd sheer, and then it's going to give us all of these songs that these are sound effects, not tracks. So here's large crowd cheering. This is what it sounds like. So people clapping, which is cool. I, I, uh, my One of my last gigs I did was a uh, gender reveal. So uh, when they were opening up the gifts, I did the cheering. So what else do we got? 
So cheering, and then also you could search for. So here we have a we have a track that you can load up that is a bunch of scratch samples, which is really cool to get a variety of different scratch samples. So don't forget that you could you could search for other stuff besides songs and tracks. The next thing that is really cool is Tidal is the only streaming service where you could get music videos so that we do the same thing flowers by miley cyrus you get the song up there but then down here where it says videos you can get the official music video you could also get lyric videos and do karaoke that that way so i i press the video and now it says video track detected would you like to load this track in video mode so you could say not now and play the song just like a regular song or you could press OK, and then now this music video is going to play. And, and now you could DJ with music videos instead of just... You could DJ with audio and video with the music videos. DJ Pro has an amazing video mode. And if you want to learn all about DJ Pro's amazing video mode, check out this video over here. Thank you.